Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about the Zero TC meta. Why it's so important and how the fastest guys on the game are manipulating Zero TC to not only give them a traction advantage but also to help the car rotate in corners where being you and normal people that are using traction control would be getting understeer. But anyway guys, let's get stuck into the video. So right now I'm on board with Aiden Wallingsam and you can see on the dash in front Literally, he's using zero TC around Bathurst of all tracks, which you'd think is pretty difficult. Um, also, when I was watching the qualifying for the SRO three hour event at Red Bull Ring, just the weekend just gone, and I was watching a bunch of different streams, and pretty much every driver to a T, the elite drivers, all using zero TC because it's just quicker. It never used to be like that. I believe this only started around patch 1.9, I believe. The original 1.9 patch. I don't believe people were doing it before that, but ever since then, it's definitely been a trend that zero TC is definitely faster. Now, I've actually dibbled and dabbled with it, and it's very, very difficult <laughs> for, for the mere mortal. It's not easy to do, okay? And again, Sometimes you're going to have a brain fart, you're going to forget, you're going to put your foot down too hard and then you're just going to end up looping it around. We saw that in the uh, Low Fuel Motorsport Pro Series. I think it was Carpenter ended up spinning the Bentley. Even though he had insane pace, he just, just a little bit too much throttle and he ended up binning it. Um, but the benefits of Zero TC are definitely more than just, you know, accelerating out of corners without getting the bogging down or going over some curbs where traction cuts in and then it can affect your you know the way how you get on the throttle but what we've seen with zero tc and what i've noticed is even if you go down you know a couple of clicks of tc through certain corners it definitely definitely gives you more turning and i think that's where a lot of the lap time is actually coming from it's not just the you know the acceleration it's definitely what it gives you through particularly fast corners. I noticed um, at Red Bull Ring through the middle sector, when you put your TC down through the double left hander, it's so much easier to take more speed through the second part of that corner. It just gives you so much rotation. You can see me with TC, how much my car understeers going through there. And that's one of the main reasons why even though it is difficult i can see why it's so important particularly at the top where the gaps between the very best drivers are very very small now i don't know what you guys think do you think there should be a zero tc meta you know do gt3s in the real world really go down to zero tc i'm not too sure i don't know what i can say for sure is pretty much universally every single racing game i've ever played in the end zero tc was always the quickest now i don't know if they've got traction control wrong in the way that it bogs down um on on these sim racing games but for me zero tc was fast it was always fastest on f1 um you know i've seen people on Ren Sport saying they're using that the tc really low whatever the weather is low tc is always the way to go but it seems right now particularly on atc I'm seeing guys using zero TC in cars you would never even think of. A lot of people using zero TC in the Aston, in the Ford. I've even seen the Nissan GTR, zero TC in the Bentley, you know, and um, zero TC in the, in the BMW. And it's like, Jesus, man, like, you know, it's definitely creates a bit of a skill gap. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I feel like it's, you know, makes you sort of drive the game a different way and if you have to drive the game a different way then the likelihood is you're going to have to set the cars up a different way to be able to get the benefits of zero tc now i'm not sure exactly how they're setting up the car but i could probably guess that maybe they're not running as much rake definitely will be running the, the meta dampers you know everyone knows what the meta dampers are by now um and i think that's what's giving them the the, the grip but Back in the day, man, there was so many different ways to set the cars up. And now I feel like that's kind of gone because we, we kind of have a meta and a way to drive to be fast. And, you know, it's kind of taken away from certain setup changes that we used to make back in the day. Now, 
not so much man now there's definitely you know you don't really see people running like a high rear wheel rate or anything like that back in the day i used to have like a high high rear wheel rate lower at the front a little bit of rake and then a lot of preload just just, just different things that i could get the car to rotate and still maintain some stability but now everything seems to be centered around um the, the traction control now that's the thing i've seen a lot of these you know a lot of these meta setups and a lot of these setups that you can buy online and what people need to understand is you might be able to get a meta setup and it might make you a little bit faster but just know to get the full benefits from those setups you probably need to have your traction control on zero you, if you really want to get the speed out of it that's why a lot of the cars seem so difficult to drive now you don't really see a lot of people in the audi that's because to get the audi fast you have to run zero tc there's literally no other way around it and you know that's probably the problem with acc at the moment is you know a lot of the cars are just not that nice to drive and if you do want to jump in them then you have to be willing to take that bold step and turn your traction control off and as I said, it's not for everyone, man. Even, even at Bathurst, when it started raining, they were barely using TC, barely. So it tells you how much faster it, it really is. And personally, I don't think it quite should be like that. At the end of the day, traction control is a real life thing that's used to aid the drivers in the real world. And the ACC for me should perfectly reflect that. And it just hasn't been doing that for the last how many how many months we've been getting the zero tc meta we've seen a few people make some mistakes that drop it in certain corners and stuff like that and obviously that's going to happen now and again but the best drivers tend to be able to do a full race zero, zero tc no problem and it's literally so much faster faster through the corners it's faster out of the corners and you know it's just one of those things man every game does tend to have its meta but um not too sure about this one like i said i've seen it in the past in other games zero traction control was always fastest man but it's funny that every time acc gets a major patch something major changes we go back to patch 1.7 there was no meta damper you know? there was different things you could do in the setup then 1.8 came out and then the meta dampers came and it was blatantly quicker then you had the 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 negative toe that was blatantly quicker and now you've got the zero tc that's blatantly quicker so it's been a little while since the game was settled down and you could really get stuck hands on into a setup like me i feel like i've repeated this a thousand times i just don't really enjoy doing setups in acc anymore because it kind of feels like there's a there's a pathway to be fast and if you stray too far away from that then it's just you just end up losing time even if you make the car feel good now if you are someone who is like a nils now and you can really you know delve into motec i'm sure you could probably make changes that are gonna make your car in the long run better but let's be honest you know the meta dampers they've been around for a while now and they just they're just as quick and pretty much everybody's using them now so that's what it is man that is the state of play as i said zero tc won't be for everybody but man i might have to i might have to start practicing it man because that seems to be the way that definitely seems to be the way like even the last race i had on monday at, um at bathurst i was lapping so slowly with six tc on the forward and yes i did have damage but i ended up switching my traction control to um i think it was three eleven or something like that and i ended up being almost like you know six seven temps quicker just by switching the tc down and you know i'd had damage the whole time so it's not like there was anything different in the car i didn't pick for fresh tires but all i did was switch the tc and i found so much time um and again it's, it's just one of those things man to find the right balance you you have to sort of be brave enough to go as low as you can without making the car too sketchy but for me at a track where i always do terribly at I didn't want to um I did not want to to make it too risky and end up binning, which ended up happening anyway. But as soon as I did go down on the TC, I just found so much more time. And that's that's what it comes down to, man. Um 
there's just time in it and people will always do the thing that is the fastest but you know does it ruin the game a little bit and the way you set the cars up and the way you have to drive i think it does um i definitely preferred um acc back on 1.7 I felt like things just felt a little bit more natural, man. You, you can sort of just take your own avenue, but guys, tell me what you think in the comment section below. Scripted TMG, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell to catch my videos first, and peace.